Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Office integrations for OnBase uh, developed by Highland Software. Uh, the Office integrations will allow you to upload to or retrieve documents from OnBase and work with them uh, directly from within the Office application, so Word, Excel, PowerPoints. Uh, these integrations are specific to 2000, Office 2010 or 2007. Um, there are some older versions as well if you need them. Uh, for our purposes today we're going to be working in Microsoft Word 2010, so let's go ahead and fire that up. And we've got a plain, plain blank document just like we normally would in Word. So I'm going to go ahead and this is my new document. You can see up top here we've got an on-base tab. Let's click on that. Uh, now the first time most of, our, uh, most of our icons up here are going to be grayed out and we'll talk through them before we're done here. But the first thing I want to do is I've just created this new Word document. I want to put this into on-base without having to save it outside of Word and then go through the upload process. So I'm going to click Save. Now for my first time, first time using this, uh, I've got to log in. If you were using Active Directory integration, you this could auto log in. You wouldn't have to wouldn't have to key that. So I save. And you can see down the right hand side now we get our standard import dialog. So from here we just classify it like we normally would. It's a human resources document. We're gonna call this an offer letter. Um, this is for George Jetson. And upload. Now in this particular case, this document type is set to prompt the user for comments whenever they bring in a new document or a revision to this document type. Uh, this could certainly be turned off if you wanted to as well. And there you go, your file has been uploaded successfully to OnBase, so that's now an OnBase document. Alright, so let's go ahead and close this document down, so we're just back to normal Word now. And from my OnBase tab, I want to open a document. So I click on Open. Uh, you get your standard on-base retrieval dialog. Uh, let's go take a look and find one of those offer letters. And do a find. And you can see there's our George Jetson offer letter that we just put into the system. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and close down this document. And coming in here, now let's say we don't have an existing document that we're working on, but we want to work on one from the on-base system. Uh, the first thing we can do, look at our open button. You can see we've got an arrow on the bottom here. If I drag that down, it actually gives me a few options for finding documents. I can use document retrieval, I can run a custom query right from within Word or Excel, um, or I can use uh, view the contents of an envelope. Uh, for our purposes, we're just going to use document retrieval today. So that pulls up the standard retrieval dialog again. <coughs> Let's go ahead and find uh, one of our offer letters. Pull that back. Uh, we'll do the offer letter for Jane Harper. Double click, and now that document has been pulled out of OnBase and is open directly within Word. Uh, behind the scenes, the ties are still there, as you'll see, with OnBase, so that when we go to save this document, it's going to put it right back in as a revision or a new document as we want to. So let's go ahead and make a change here. Um, this is a change. And okay, we're finished editing the document, so now we want to go ahead and save it back. We just click our Save button again. So now because this is a document within OnBase, we've got some more icons across the top here that give us access to some of the OnBase functionality right from within the Office program. So I can go ahead and I can look at the keywords on that given document. Um, we can look at any notes that may be on there. We can add a new note if we wanted to. Uh, or we can take a look at cross-references. So maybe I'm working on a Word document, but I want to see uh, the related employment application for this particular document. So I'm going to go ahead and do cross-references, double-click, and it's going to open up that document in a new window right from within Word. You can see this document is actually in electronic form. A couple other options up here. You can look at the revi revisions or renditions of this document. You can check the history, the properties. Uh, we could re-index this document, email it. Again, these are all standard on-base functionality uh, just available to you through the, through the Office product. It's all security-based just as anything else in on-base is. Uh, for our purposes here, though, all I'm going to do is take my change and save it back into on-base. So now you can see the system picked up the fact that this was an existing document, so it's asking us, do we want this change to be a revision of the original document, or do we want to save it as a new one? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Save as Revision. Uh, again, this particular document type is prompting me for comments. Put that in, and the document has been saved successfully. So let's go ahead and close that document, and let's just do a quick retrieval and take a look at it. And that was the offer letter for Jane Harper. There's our document, and there's our change. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this today. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at lbmctechinfo at lbmc.com. 
uh, or you can check out our website at www.lbmctech.com. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd love to answer them. If you'd like to see a, a more in-depth demonstration, we can certainly set that up. Uh, or if you would just like to discuss how this module might work in your environment. Thank you.